Now, we're often being told crisps and snacks are bad for us, but for one little boy from Bridlington, they've changed his life for the better. Two-year-old Hugo Smith was born with a rare disease which meant he could choke on solid food. He faced a life of being fed by a tube until he tried a particular type of crisp. Paul Murphy explains. Hugo is now a fun-loving little two-year-old, but he's had a tough start in life. Born three months premature, he was diagnosed with a rare condition which allowed food to get into his lungs and cause him to choke. So Hugo was tube fed and underwent five corrective operations. The problem was that he hadn't yet learned how to chew and swallow food. He missed out on learning how to suckle from a bottle, so he, he kind of missed out on all sort of the development of his mouth and eating really. So he just had to sort of learn from scratch and where it was delayed, it took longer for him to learn. Doctors warned that if he didn't learn to chew and swallow, he'd face a lifetime of tube feeding. The solution has come from an unusual source. Cheesy snacks, which still need chewing, but crucially dissolve in the mouth, reducing the risk of choking. He started off with licking them, getting the, the flavour of it, like that. and eventually he started eating them, and then that was uh, the next step to introduce them to more bite and dissolve foods, and then that led on to bite and chew foods. And then that came into where now we'll eat absolutely anything. It was never sort of forced. It was, you know, Hugo led what he wanted to do, really. But yeah, and it just kind of grew from there. And then we tried different foods and I kind of what, what you were eating just grew, didn't it? <laughs> He's defied the doctor's expectations and now enjoys a regular diet like any other two-year-old. That still includes crisps, of course, to which Hugo owes a great deal. Paul Murphy, BBC Look North, Bridlington. Who'd have thought? Now, a so-called 